Hey guys, so it's been really um, a long time since I've done a video and it sucks, but I've just been super, super busy. I had about two weeks of finals and projects and then I literally have like one day to just breathe and relax and go out and then Friday I moved out of my home at school, moved back in to my mom's house. Um, currently my stuff is everywhere, but the past weekend I redid this room and it's going to be um, kind of like my closet slash get ready room slash store all my makeup and like shoes and accessories and that kind of thing. And once it's done, I really want to um, do a video just kind of showing you guys everything that's in here. Um, so it's coming together pretty nicely and I really like the setup so far. But um, yeah, and then so Friday I moved. Saturday, Sunday was just kind of project day, trying to get stuff for the room done. Um, then I have to do my bedroom. It's, ugh, it's just madness. Um, and then Monday I started working full time. So, um, and I started my summer school, summer class. Um, <laughs> so it's a lot. But anyways, um, I really, I have like a list of like things, ideas I really want to do. But really for now, um, most likely my videos are just going to be kind of hauls. And so, um... I went to the drugstore and Ulta um, online stuff came this past week so I just thought I would quickly share with you guys what I got because I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm also excited that I have a pretty good paycheck coming to me now so I can buy more. What up? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'll start with just with Ulta. Um, I got, okay, so last time I went to Ulta I got their smoothie lotions, beauty smoothie lotions in cinnamon and buttermilk and I'm kind of weird OCD about wanting this shower gel and the lotion to smell the same. It's kind of weird. So um, I picked up the beauty smoothie. So like the shower gel, bubble bath, shampoo, basically just like philosophy. So I got those two to um, match my lotions. And then I also got, I smelled this in the store and I really liked it and I just decided screw it. It's summer. I want it. Um, and this kind of leaked, so I'm, I think it leaked a lot. And it was, it's really sticky, but I got the coconut lime cooler, and I got the shower gel smoothie kind stuff, and the body cream. The one thing I do think is really annoying is that their body cream, or shower gel, is 24 fluid ounces, and the lotion's only 8. <laughs> That's not fair. So I'm going to have to be probably buying these out the wazoo. But this literally smells, um, now like my hand smells like it probably been leaking, like you're laying on the beach. It's heaven. It's heaven. So I have two sweet dessert kind of smells and now I have one, um, beachy smell. And then I also have their freshwater one oh, right here. I have the shower, the fresh water mist. Um, I have the gel and the body lotion to this, and it smells. I couldn't put my finger on what it smelled like for the longest time, and I was using it in the shower like two days ago, and it sort of reminds me, at least um, when you put it on your puff and you wash your body, like a firecracker, the you know, like the red, white, and blue um, popsicle. I don't know, but I like those popsicles, and um, I made my mom smell it when I first bought it and she bought it when we were at Ulta um, a while ago but so anyways but I'm just saying it smells really good try these seriously try these um, also I got from Ulta the tan towel tanning mist and I have the actual the tan towel plus um, towelettes and I just buy mine from whenever Holt Look has them it's typically I feel like it's almost every month and it's always on a Friday so putting that out there but they usually have really good deals and I get the full body, um, medium to that kind. And, um, I actually, I haven't been doing it. I need to, I'm really, I haven't been, I, I'm trying to get off the tanning bed. So I'm trying to find really good self tanners. Um, yeah. So the last time I actually did the towelette, um, my boyfriend helped get like my back and stuff and he really, when the, the, he didn't think it was going to work basically. And then the morning I woke up and he was like, oh my God, you're actually darker. That's crazy. So, um, I'm just, so I'm just saying this stuff works and I got the tanning mist because you can reuse, um, 
the towelette um, like the next day, but it's not as moist, so you just spritz this on it or on you, and then you go over it again with a tan towel, so you're getting two uses out of one towel. So in the long run, that will save me money, I figured. Um, and then I got the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. Oh, oh. I finally got it. I finally got it. I needed it. Um, everyone raves about it. It's awesome. It's like, you know, the best hair mask really out there. I've gotten like the little sample $4 ones from Ulta and I finally decided just get the big thing, Jill. Just get it. So I got that. Um, kind of the person that will try to walk around getting something more expensive that works. Try to find like a cheaper, a cheaper alternative and it just never ends up working out. So I need to just get get the good thing right away and not waste my money. Um, Okay, and then I got these from Ulta, and I'm kind of mad I got these from Ulta because I should have just got them in the store, um, the drugstore, but oh well. Bear with me. Bear with me here. Okay. I got a few things from NYX. Alright, yeah. Blah. Can't put this down. Okay. There we go. So I got three things from NYX, yes. Um, I always wanted to try their soft matte lip creams, and they've been around forever, I know, um, and I finally just got around to getting them, but, uh, it was on sale, I think, that's why I got it, but the Istanbul color, and it's just like a peak nude, um, they, they have like a new kind out, so that's probably why it's around sale, that are pretty much similar to these, I guess, they're probably just, I, the only complaint I think from people are that these are a little bit drying, but whatever. I thought it was a beautiful color and I couldn't pass it up. Um, I also got the pure white eyeliner just because I needed a white eyeliner and it was cheap. And they're very creamy. Very creamy. I just got this for my waterline. And then finally I got a cream shadow in Oolong Tea. Oh, oh, long tea. That's right, right? <laughs> um, and I just got these because um, in the morning I don't like to spend a lot of time on my makeup. And I'm really sorry if I keep looking over here and not on the camera. But there's a mirror behind, so it's like I'm watching myself. Um, but anyways, I don't like to take a lot of time in the morning to do my makeup. And cream shadows are definitely the way to go. Because I don't really have creasing problems with my um, eye makeup. And this is super pretty. It's kind of metallic -y, but it's like copper. Bam! What's up? And I have blue eyes, so that's going to make them stand out more. So, um, so I'm excited for that. We'll see. If, I wonder if this... See, it's still really wet, so we'll see how long it takes to dry. Alright, we'll see. I was trying to check the time. <laughs> okay, and then finally the stuff I just got um, from Ulta were Revlon products, and I got their Color Stay blemish concealer in light medium um i had it in the medium but i since i'm not tanning right now um, my face is getting a whole lot lighter so i need a lighter color um i got the dark blonde eye pencil the brow fantasy pencil and gel and i really um i love my define a brow like i swear by this this is my favorite and it's so cheap it's so cheap but I really wanted like a gel to just kind of put through if they're kind of unruly. So um, that's really why I just got that. And then again, these are on sale. And then um, I got two Revlon Color Stays eyeliners in black. And I've been using this since I think it was junior high, if not high school. So regardless, it's at least eight years. <laughs> so um, I, yeah, so are these Holy Grail eyeliner. They are amazing. They don't move. Um, they're just perfect. So, stock up on these whenever I can because sometimes they just, like, they'll get sold out in my local drugstores. And, um, I also got these on sale and they're normally $8. But if you go to Walmart, I notice they're, like, 4 or 5 So, check that out if you're wanting to get them. Don't pay. Don't, don't overpay. Um, it's just, just the lateness. And then, finally, for the drugstore, on my lunch break, I first went to, um, CVS because I know that they... Because there's not a Walgreens around, but I know they carried um, uh, 
oh, everything's falling. Okay. Um, Milani products. And I really wanted two different Milani products because, eyeshadows, because, um, I saw a tutorial for, like, blue eyes and it was so pretty and it was just two eyeshadows. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to go get them. No, no, I'm not going to go get them because the selection was horrible. And I was looking, like, at everything at CVS and I seriously hate CVS. They're overpriced. They never have sales. Like, it's ridiculous. There was a, I really wanted to get the Maybelline Fit powder because I love their concealer like it's ridiculous how great it is and it doesn't break me out um and I was gonna I looked online at like Walmart to see how much it was there and it was four dollars and some change and at CVS it was eight dollars like it's just ridiculous I don't, I don't get it but I got one Milani eyeshadow and it's called drenched in gold and the number is 606 and it's their marbleized big eyeshadows and it's just so luscious and pretty. So that is the color. It comes with like a little dual-sided brush, you know, like that. So you can see it better. It has shimmer in it, but it's not like, it's very fine. So it's not like overbearing or anything like that. So that's just a little swatch. So that was literally the only thing I got from CBS because I was not paying that much and I still had a little bit of time so I ran over to Rite Aid and I love Rite Aid. Rite Aid and Walgreens and Walmart best places to get cheap drugstore type makeup. So um well I'll just get this out of the way. For hair they were having a what's this? Gachi B. Gachi B was buy one get one free. Ha! Huh. So I got a rocking it forever stay uh hairspray and this is supposed to be long lasting and I don't really have a hairspray like that right now. And since everyone talks about this on YouTube, I, and there was only one left, so I figured it was a sign. I got the powder, powderful, the volumizing style power powder powder. Um, I have another kind of this. I bought it probably like two years ago, and it was really expensive. It's in like a little red bottle. I don't remember what the like who makes it, but it was really expensive. And this is only six fifty, so hopefully that works. Just it's good. I'm sure it does. I don't see how it couldn't. And then, um, finally I got, they were, like, they have such good deals at Rite Aid, oh my gosh. So, um, the All May section, it was buy one, one half off, plus, um, this blush was 75% off. So, um, I got two, one for my mom, one for me, and this is just in natural, and it's just looked like this, and I've been wanting to get this, try it for a while, and I only paid $2.50, what up? Um... So, thing out is what it looks like. It has like, it's like, kind of like peachy, a little bit of brown, brown under it. <clears throat> yeah. So hopefully that's a pretty color. We'll see. I'm a little nervous it's going to be chalky. Mm, maybe not. It's very powdery, so... We'll see how that goes, but again, for a few dollars, I'm not going to complain that, it, like, I, or I can take it back, too. You can take that stuff back. What am I saying? Um, and then two things that I got from Wet n Wild, Clinic Wet n Wild. I got one of their new nail polishes in Color Icon, and they have, it's like a three different kind of glitter colors. But this one reminded me of a mermaid, and it's called Bow in My Presence. So I checked that one out, and that's two, it was two dollars and change as well. I'm pretty. I figure that'd be either pretty on your toes by itself or um, having to put it over a nail polish. And then the other thing I got was don't plink, don't blink pink. The six is, oh my goodness, nine six six. The lipstick and it's just a hot pink. And um, I am a lover of these lip products. And I saw on Holly Ann's channel like she just did a haul like. Um, with these and she made the point of going like this to rattle them to make sure that the lipstick isn't broken at the bottom and this one isn't broken so yay but I have like a ton of these colors they are amazing they're so opaque they're just amazing so check them out for two dollars hello why not and then uh, finally is it free? It's got free. Um, Revlon was having 40% off all their stuff craziness and that's why I'm mad that I probably should have gotten more eyeliners at 40% off because I'm a weirdo and I need to stock up on things. But, um, by the way, this is dry and it's been quite a few minutes. But, just so you know, I forgot about that. Um, 
Can you hit it when my numbers call you? I don't know what to do. Okay, um, so anyways, I got three things from Revlon. I got two of their new um, Color Stay Longwear Nail Enamel. I got these two. And in Buttercup and Indigo Night. And I need to do my nails and my toes tonight, so I'm probably going to do these. This is the blue on the toes and the yellow on my nails. I just feel they're so pretty. And I heard they're more like gel-like, so we'll see how that goes. And I was so happy that I, because I, those were two things like I really, really wanted at the drugstore and at CVS. Um, they didn't have either of those colors and those prices again were ridiculous. And I went again for 40% off and they had all the colors at Rite Aid. So Coolio, Iglesias, right? And then finally I got the Revlon Colorburst and Cherry Tart just because I do like wearing dark, um, like a darker lip color sometimes, but you know, I'm not going to sit there all day and fuss with it or, you know, get nervous as my teeth or anything like that. So that is just perfect. Cause it's like a bomb. So yeah, that is it. Um, I hope you guys have a great week and, um, I should be coming back with a haul from Sephora really soon because I've been crazy and getting stuff from there a lot. Oops. All right. See you guys. Bye.